How's it going team? This is the brown man and today we're gonna go over jump pluff in the BDSP metagame Once again, I can't wait for the capture card to come in for me to show certain games actually sold the BDSP But I still have sword and shield and I'll be happy to actually provide battles in the, in the game itself, I don't like battling on Smogon. I'm actually new. I keep calling it Smogon to Showdown. I'm new to the Showdown, but it's the only place right now where we can get national decks battles. So right now, I'm gonna go over Jump Bluff. Jump Bluff is a speedy grass flying type. Earthquake immune, great stuff. Spikes immune, more great stuff. And even better stuff is the ability infiltrator so with this build I'm typically going to take advantage of that we have 75 on the HP which is I 95 on the special defense 110 speed but typically we have this nice little ability here and I was using this online and I was crushing I was crushing guard chomps I was crushing a lot of these these meta Pokemon that people are going back to and I'll let you know why Part of it is this is this combo right here this triple threat leech seed worry seed and strength sap worry seed is great with the return of poison heal breloom and poison here gliscor they were running rampant and I mean rampant and of course you have the guard chomps but jump pluff is actually outspeeds guard chomp at the 110 a blazing 110 speed and you know what we do with that you strength sap you strength sap that guard chomp and now that rock slide that probably could have KO'd you is not going to KO you we run jolly for the speed um, if I typically run jolly because you might want to run u-turn this last set there's a lot of stuff we can actually fill into that last set but your main your main targets are going to be Rotom guard chomp going to be people with a uh, would be like maybe magic guard like an alakazam there's going to be things with uh maybe moxie if you go if, if you if you uh use worry seed because worry seed is a very very good move it doesn't work just like leech seed so leech seed does not work on grass types but worry seed does so there was a matchup where i started i led jump luff they led gliscor and I just said, okay, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to use Protect. They also use Protect. I'm just over here burning moves. So they got poisoned with a Toxic Orb. And the really cool thing about Poison Heal is that if you're Toxic, as long as the Pokemon is on the field, it counts as one turn of Toxic. Even if they don't take the damage. Even if they have Poison Heal, it still counts as one turn. So I was just dicking around with this guy, right? Using Leech Seed, using trying to find a way to get in, racking up turns, Strength Sap. And then I said, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to hit him with the Worry Seed. And then at the end of that turn, that dude lost almost all his health. Because that's how Worry Seed works. And, of course, we have Infiltrator. So these lot of the people like to substitute, protect, sub, sub. Okay, well, we got Infiltrator. I'll go around your substitute. And that was a very, very rude awakening for that Gliscor. And that Gliscor had to choose Switch Out Now... And possibly not be able to take a hit coming in or, or die to rocks or stay in and die and it's very is very, very satisfying to, to put the breloom or the glide score the poison heal Pokemon on a timer it is very very useful to, to do so you can also if you don't want to wait that long you can actually start off with the early worry seed and that means they, they actually can't leave them in for that long. And they're, they're kind of forced to switch out a little bit. So you can actually do double Worry Seed if you want. Or you can Worry Seed uh, the Poison Healer Pokemon into a Strength Sap. If you feel like a, a strong some a strong Pokemon is coming in. Like a Garchomp. Or you can also just do Leech Seed. Leech Seed uh, after a Worry Seed for a Poison Healer Pokemon is actually very interesting. Because it gives whoever is coming in some sort of sustain. So whoever is coming in cannot freely stay in and set up for X amount of time. It also stacks really well with leftovers. If you're switching into, we'll say something a bit more bulky, you have the leftovers plus the lead seed. 
and it gets really <laughs> it gets it gets really crazy at that point. You can go 252 HP if you want, or you can go 200 into the 56 on the defense, because your main targets are going to hit you physically. Um, one interesting thing, of course, is is beating out the guard chomp. Guard chomps are quite common. Um, guard chomps are common. You want to be mindful of those. And once again, you have the 110 speed. And we actually have some decent speed tier in regards to hitting, I believe, Latios. Latios, uh, Latios has the 110. Latios has the 110 as well. Yep. So if you go into this guy, Timid, you will ease, you will you will tie with Latios. Or once again, because it could be most some Latios run Scarf, some run Timid with the specs, some might run Life Orb, but definitely tying with Latios is not too bad, especially if you have something like uh, your Focus Sash active, you have a last ditch play, a last minute play, you can be like, hey, you know what, we're gonna tie this out, and I'm going to hit you with something. And of course, one of the great things is, besides the, the Leech Seed, would be also the Worry Seed. The Worry Seed is also good because it gets rid of Levitate. So people like Latios coming in, even if they come in, they get hit by the Worry Seed. They gotta be mindful now. They gotta be mindful of powerful attackers. They can't just sit on something that will come in, whether it be in a, sometime an Assault Vest Pokemon, or it'll be just something that could, that's trying to spam Earthquake. They can't do it. And it also allows you to beat out Rotom. Or at least later down the line, beat out Rotom. Because Rotom might want to switch in. It's water electric. You typically don't have much to hit it. Or even like a, a Rotom Heat. It's a uh, fire electric. You really don't have much to hit that. Um, but when you hit them with the Worry Seed, they lose their Levitate. And that means if you have uh, Mammal Swine, Mammal Swine can now drop them. You can you can switch into uh, especially if you have a thick fat assault vested Mammal Swine, you can switch into uh, a heated mo. <laughs> a heated mo. Uh, anybody who watched Shady Penguin, I love that guy. Been be watching some of his videos. And yeah, I'm giving him a call out in one of my videos. I'm a small tuber, but I really love that guy. His, his content rather. I don't know him personally. But uh, definitely, we have a lot of Rotom, some Rotom heats. They're not as around as often, just because they have a weak they have a weakness to rocks. But they have some good damage that they can do. And getting rid of Levitate for the Rotom is really dangerous because even if you trade, even if you trade the Jump Pluff, for example, for the Rotom. If you have a scarfed Mammo, that Earthquake is going to body. <laughs> the Earthquake is now going to body that that used to be levitating Rotom, and they have to switch out. They absolutely cannot switch, and their answer is gone at least for now. So that is free damage. That is you have two. You have pretty much two free attacks on on something. And if, and if they're saving Rotom once again for a little bit late. You know, definitely leech seed and then swap out. But if 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 they don't have much of a of a switch in, your know, worry seed gets a lot of these people out of here. Something that you might want to do is also uh, you could run protect. Protect uh, obviously blocks the next attack. So what happens is you can do if you if you're against we'll say uh, poison heal. If poison heal is an issue for you, poison heal substitute, you can go with the worry seed. And you can go between Strength Sap and Protect, and that will give you some sustain, and they'll get crushed under their own poison. You can also go with U-Turn, which is why we went for Jolly. Uh, just to get out of certain matchups, you can also go like Worry Seed, Elite Seed, and then if you don't want them to have a fully free uh, switch in, or if you want to just uphold some momentum, you go with the U-Turn. Something else people can also do is go for the, if they want, Acrobatics. Uh, because this will help you also, instead of like passively, or you can actually go timid if you want. You can go timid and go air slash. Do you get air slash? Oh, you don't get air slash. Oh, never mind. You have to go acrobatics here. 
Yeah, we gotta go acrobatics. So you can also go acrobatics. Um, acrobatics allows you to beat out, we'll say, uh, Breloom. You know, in a one in one v one, sometimes Breloom might set up, set up a little bit earlier. Breloom does have access to Rock Tomb and has some pretty good attacks. That uh, that's something that can that can be done. Another thing that can be done also is if they don't have much special attackers, you can actually go Cotton Guard. Oh my bad, Cotton Guard, Cotton Guard, Cotton Guard. It is Cotton Guard or Cotton Spore? So Cotton Guard allows you to give plus three attack when plus three defense rather. And you'll say, okay, I'm plus three defense. After they have the minus one attack. And you can actually get quite tanky doing that. And if they don't have any special attackers or any uh, physical ice moves, or like a strong, maybe we'll say Infernape or something, it's going to get really crazy. And the other interesting thing about Infernape is actually. Bum -ba -da -bum, 108 speed. You outspeed Infernape. You outspeed Infernape as Jump Pluff. So if you, if so, if an Infernape might switch in, you can actually go for the Cotton Guard first. If you think the Infernape is going to switch in, with your Focus Sash intact, you will. You can actually say okay, and then you'll go for the Strength Sap. Following would be the Flare Blitz, and an Infernape will actually slowly kill themselves. Um, especially if you, for example, you're not going for, uh, let's say Cotton Guard. Or if you, if you, if you want to go, you can actually go for the Cotton Spore. Instead, Cotton Spore lowers someone's speed by two. So that's another way to set up hazards. You don't have, uh, webs, but, you know, maybe you say, okay, I want to slow this thing down quite a bit. And then I'm going to swap my jump pluff out into something that can now outspeed that threat and hit it hard. Maybe something that's a little bit bulky. Uh, maybe, for example, as I brought in, as I brought up a Mammal Swine uh, or a Gyarados that normally can't outspeed something without a Dragon Dance or like a Scarf. But now they can take a hit and outspeed on this on the switch and without without that Pokemon directly using setup. And that's going to be really really crazy and, and that's why I love this guy he's, he's a bit utility focused he's actually really frail on the defense side without using any of these uh, without setup so it is, it is a bit risky and once again this is under picked under and underused so definitely but strength sap really put this guy back on the map especially with the infiltrator an infiltrator strength sap is just so good you know so I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you guys like Jump Pluff. Jump Pluff was was great. Oh my god. I, I wish I did this sooner. I wish I got the capture card and everything sooner to really show you guys how this guy shined. So, but instead, I'm going to have to go on Pokemon Showdown and really put in some work with Jump Pluff, with the jumping of Pluffs. I appreciate you guys checking out this video. Just remember that we are actually going to have a Pokemon Scarlet and Violet giveaway. We're actually going to have a tournament before Scarlet and Violet drops. It's going to be a Pokemon Sword and Shield tournament. Rules will be posted very soon. It'll be posted on a Saturday update. Uh, either this Saturday or the following Saturday. So that way people have time to prepare their teams. There will be a pre preliminaries. And once you survive the prelims, those left behind, or those that move forward rather from prelims, will move on to going into the main matches and then winner gets gen 9 and during the release day of gen 9 there will be a giveaway for pokemon scarlet and violet i understand some people might have fell on some hard times and i want everybody to have fun so i want to off offer some chances to actually go into the paldera i believe it's called paldera region with me and since I'm going to be getting some stuff a little bit early, I'm not going to set up any videos or anything early. It's going to be, it has to be at midnight. I don't want my channel to get struck, but I will be helping people out with raids and getting some of those special hats. So competitive is going to be on fire and we will be there lighting motherfuckers up. You guys be safe. Have a good one. Stay hydrated team.